Hey everyone, welcome to Starbound. So I've been meaning to actually play this for a while now, but I've uh, been pretty busy lately. Um, I actually picked this game up about two weeks ago, and after I uh, finished downloading it, I went ahead and played it for about 15 or 20 minutes, you know, checked all the settings out, made sure they were all good, and made sure it, you know, ran nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and deleted my character that I made already, but uh, we're gonna remake them real quick. So let's get started. Create character. So here we have six different species. Here we have a human, an avian, apex, glitch, um, not too sure on the correct pronunciation of that one, uh, but yeah, that one. And the Florin. That's a nice hairdo. Kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, this. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Alright, I'm not too sure the correct pronunciation on this, so you guys might be able to help me out on this. Um. Hilatles? Or maybe. Um. Hilatles? Or helotals or hilotals or, or hilotals, something like that. Um, I'm imagining it's one of those, possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, I will be playing a human because I like playing humans. Um, all right, let's go ahead and set ourselves up here real quick. Um, well. Right, maybe. I think I think it's the blue that's kind of throwing me off. So <laughs> let's let's change everything else first. I know there's a hairstyle in here that I actually want to use. Um, it's got like a slick back style that I kind of use myself. Where is it? Did I pass it? I think I passed it. Yep, that one. That one right there. Looks like it's um, slicked back. Perfect. All right, shirts. I'm gonna go with the jacket, pants, baggy, personality. Um, we'll come back to that one in a minute. Undie color. How, how do you tell? Um, <laughs> um, we'll just click it randomly. <laughs> we'll go with whatever we get. Hopefully not a um, too crazy color. Um, hair color, maybe dark brown. Yep, that'll work. Shirt color. Hmm. You know, that'll work. And I think I want blue pants. Perfect. Looks good to me. <laughs> the average Joe... Um, personality though. You know, I think I'll go with that one. Um, Silk Scale. Interesting name, but no thank you. We are going to be using Bentleyus. That's right. Alright. And let's go ahead and start our new character. All right, so here we have ourselves a new quest. There's no place like home. So I guess this is um, kind of like a little backstory. Uh, Earth has been ripped apart. You have been in search of a new home for some time. Finally, your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Uh, before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. All right, except, all right, so like I said, I've already played about 15, maybe 20 minutes of this so far, so I've kind of already ran through most of this, but uh, still going to stop by and read all of this. Uh, here we have our matter manipulator. We'll pick that up. I'm going to put that in slot two for now. We got our flashlight. I'm going to put that in slot four. Hero sword, I'll put that in slot one. Uh, wheat seeds. Corn seeds, I'll put those in the last few. And the torches, I'll place there in slot five. Nice. Quest complete. Well done. The matter manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world. 
New quest, shot class. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. All right, let's do it. But first, I want to take a look at this. We got tech, tech selection, 3D printer. This is a pixel printer. Um, guess maybe we'll unlock schematics at some point. Gotcha. And here we put fuel in, I guess. Here's our navigation. We are currently, I guess, over Alpha Turius? Turius? 1282-4? A? And the biomes of force, threat level 1. Of course, we also have this planet here, which is arid. So, um, set home, go home. I don't suppose we could just go back to Earth right now. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and set this as our home for now so I don't forget. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and beam ourselves down. There we go. Let's see what we got. Alpha Turius 1282-4A. So this doesn't look too bad for planets. Um, whoa. Burned. What? Oh, no. Huh? What the? Stop it. It's raining. <laughs> well, that's not even fair. That wasn't even nice. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do anything with that. I interacted with it with E, and it just set me on fire, so... Yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea. Alright, so we got our matter manipulator out. I imagine we're going to need a crafting table, so we're probably going to need some wood. I don't know what else we can cut the tree down with, so let's try with our matter manipulator. Of course, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. <laughs> Looks like it's working just fine. Come on, tree. And timber! Um, timber. All right, come on, fall now. Finally. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we have some unrefined wood. We got 27 pieces of unrefined wood. Good. Oh wow, those guys. Those guys look kind of mean. Looks like they have like juice coming out of their heads too. That's probably not a good thing. They look kind of mad. I'm I'm gonna stay away from them. Now that. That actually looks like coal. So I'm gonna remember that and I might wind up coming over to pick that up in just a minute. And that looks like something there too. All right, so this is where we beamed in on our ship. I'm gonna go ahead and get started right here. So let's open up our inventory. No. Crafting. Basic crafting. I imagine C? Yes, yeah, C. Alright. So we can open uh, that up with C on our keyboard, and we're going to go ahead and refine these into wooden planks. So let's go ahead and craft these guys up until this crafting table shows up. Which we need 35 pieces of wood plank. There we go. We're going to craft you up, and we'll be able to place you down here in just a second. Quest complete. Well done. Using the crafting table will give you access to a wide range of new recipes. Collecting fuel and visiting a range of planets is the best way to find resources. New quest. Food fight. By now, you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places, but in a pinch, hunting is your best option. Obtain some alien meat by killing... A monster with a bow and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. Gotcha. You, my friend, look a little hostile. You are, aren't you? Yep. Yep. This is why I got my sword. This is why I brought my sword. Get out of here. Blind him. Blind him by the light. Wow, does that actually work? Oh, oh, oh. No. No, I'm just I'm sorry. I think, I think he likes my flashlight. Do you like my flashlight? How do you like my sword? Okay, I don't think he really liked my sword too much. <laughs> Alright, your friend better stay away. 
All right, so there we go. We got our crafting table down. Awesome. Now this says something about making a bow. Where's that at? Hunting bow. We need plant fiber and unrefined wood. So we got plenty of unrefined wood. We just need some plant fiber. Alright, so not hundred percent sure what all can give us plant Okay. Alright, buddy. Wow, there's a lot of you guys on this planet that just don't like me, do you? Oh, the music is wonderful. <laughs> That's some pretty cool music. Alright, maybe that's not anything. Plant fiber. I don't know of anything else. Everything looks kind of different than what I played through the first time, so... I'm just taking a wild guess here. And with it shaking like that, I'm imagining this is going to work. I just gotta give it a second. Yeah, that's the stuff I'm looking for. Plant fiber. Perfect. Alright, we got 18 of those. That should be enough for now. Make our way back over to our cra- Hey! Hey! Get away from my crafting table! Get away! Thank you. It's mine. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, cool. We can actually make a bandage now. All right, let's make this first. We'll make our hunting bow. And then we'll make ourselves up some bandages. How many of these can we make? Let's make up two. Make up two bandages. Let's open up our inventory. Let's put our bow on three. And we'll put bandages there on six. All right, good. So we're healing. We're healing. Awesome. All right, now we got ourselves a bow. Looks like there's uh, quite a few of you guys over here. Okay, good. We got arrows. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get away from me, buddy. Get away from me. I have a good shot. Ha! Ooh, meat. We're all alien meat. Perfect. That's what we was looking for. All right. So, what about... Campfire. Isn't there like a campfire in here? Yeah. Alright, we need more wood, so let's go chop down another tree real quick. Got plenty of them over here. Sorry, my friend, but you must fall for me to survive. I need you. Just don't take too long, please. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I really am enjoying the music in this game. It's really awesome. Gotta say. Timber! Alright, thank you. Much appreciated. Alright, so how much exactly did we get? 24 plus whatever we had, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a campfire. Craft that up. Open up our inventory. Place that guy down right there. Imagine if we want to cook on it. Maybe... Yeah, there we go. So we got E. Grab some meat. Place that there cook there we go two cooked alien meat oh, did you already okay I guess I already went back there all right let's put the plant fiber here in our inventory we'll leave the bandage there for now quest complete food fight enjoy if you're a vegetarian toss it away and start planting crops except reward new quest out of the frying pan it's time to craft a furnace you'll need to obtain some cobblestone a campfire and some coal. If you'd like to know exactly how much of each you need, access a crafting table, untick materials available, and mouse over the recipe to see ingredients. Alright? Accept. And I don't know, I feel like it might be getting a little dark. Yep, it is. <laughs> Stars are coming out. And I'm hearing crickets, it sounds like. So, cool. We're going to need some cobblestone, though. Imagine we're going to get that with our matter manipulator. So let's get started collecting some of this stuff. We're going to try not to go too far away here. I imagine just like many other things, 
bad things tend to like to come out at night and hurt us. So I'm gonna try and stay close to my my camp here. I'm just gonna collect a good little amount of cobblestone. Come on, you. I don't have all night for this. Oh, the stars look nice. <laughs> Those little dots in the star in the sky, yeah. Yeah, they totally look nice. I think so. Ooh, look at that planet glow. I think I'm gonna really like nighttime on this planet. Everything looks a lot nicer than during the day. Everything during the day is like all orangey and stuff. Alright, so we can make cobblestone bricks. That might come in uh, some use a little bit later on. Wait, how many do we need? Wait, where's that at? Furnace. Oh, stone furnace. There we go. So we're going to need campfire and 25 cobblestone. Holy cow. Um, maybe if we made ourselves a stone pickaxe real quick. Let's do that. So we need some more wood planks. Craft up a few more of those. Hmm. Do we need a few more pieces? Stone axe. Yeah, we need like two more, like to craft like two more sets of uh, wooden planks. That is. There we go. Stone pickaxe. Let's do that. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up. Is it? It's starting to rain. Really? That's kind of cool. All right. We'll put him right there. Take the flashlight. And pull that off for now. Let's collect some cobblestone, shall we? Get a little light over here, too. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Definitely needed to make a pickaxe. <laughs> Just going out on a limb on that one. Alright, so how much cobblestone? We got 19 already. Well, I'm going to go ahead and collect enough to hopefully also make ourselves up a couple other tools. Maybe like another um, axe, maybe a hoe. And then our furnace too, so we're just gonna collect a good little amount of cobblestone here. And I think that'll do. Fifty pieces should be um, more than enough. All right, so we're gonna need another campfire. Let's get that crafted. There we go. Our stone furnace. Awesome. All right now, stone axe. What am I missing? Missing wood planks, so we need 13 more. There we go. So that gives us 15 down at the bottom. And now we have ourselves a stone axe. Perfect. Quest complete. Awesome. It's about time we play with fire. Nice. Accept reward. Uh, new quest. Forging ahead. Next, we need to get you some armor. Working with... Well, I didn't rain very long, did it? Working with metal requires an anvil, but before we can craft one, you'll need to melt some iron ore. Obtain two iron ore and smelt it in a furnace to obtain an iron bar. Ah, okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, I thought we saw some over here. So, that. We'll try to get that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Equip this guy first. Let's put him there. Oh yeah. Alright, let's um let's gather up some more wood. Uh oh. Yeah, that definitely works a lot better. <laughs> I don't know if you're good or bad. Friend or foe? Nope. Oh crap, he's he's spitting at me. I don't know what he's spitting at me. Get away from me, buddy. Oh gosh, that was close. Get away from my camp. What does that say it was? Oh, we got leather. Oh, wait a minute. There's a temperature meter down there at the bottom too. Oh, I see something bad over there. I just want to collect my wood and get out of here, buddy. I'm gone. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so I guess I'm getting cold. All right, let's um. While we're out here. Let's just go ahead and uh, pick this iron up real quick. 
In fact, we might even just make this into our base right here. Um, maybe not our base. Maybe we'll just make this into our basement. We'll build our base on top of this for this planet. You know, maybe just like a little forward base. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That'll um, maybe provide us a little bit of protection. Yeah, that'll work. Let's get these guys out of the way. All right, now you. There we go, perfect. Two iron ore. <laughs> that um, couldn't have worked out any better. Um, I'm looking for dirt. <laughs> and I feel like I'm missing it right now. Ah, there we go. It's in this thing. Um, what's the difference? <laughs> um, anyway, maybe if we put this over here on the side. Yeah, there we go. Just do that. Perfect. Cool. All right, we'll go ahead and place us a torch right there. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. All right, let's go ahead and grab our stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna move in for now. So this is going to be our future basement. Alright, we'll leave that for now. Let's come over here. I imagine I'm probably going to want to place that uh, pretty quick because uh, I think it's kind of cold out. So we're going to put our fire there. Oh uh, yeah, that temperature bar down there is going up. Good. Alright, we're going to place that there. Let's go ahead and access that and we need to make a... Wait, didn't we make a furnace already? I think we did. Yeah, there we go. Stone furnace. So, can I put you there? Perfect. There we go. That looks good. And it's morning. <laughs> that wasn't very long. Cool. All right. Uh, how do we smelt? Stone furnace. I guess we just put the iron ore in there. Smelt. Iron bar. All right, quest complete, good job. You'll need a bunch more. <laughs> you need a whole bunch of iron bars to craft an anvil. All right, nice. New quest, first contact. Your ship's engine isn't yet strong enough to take you beyond the alpha sector. Craft a distress beacon and maybe you'll be able to make contact with a larger ship. Make sure you're ready for anything before you do though. Gotcha, so. I guess our main goal here is to craft ourselves up a distress beacon. All right, we'll do that. But first, I'm gonna grab this coal before I forget. Pretty sure that's coal, it looks like coal. Unless it's some crazy dark metal like tungsten or something. Nope, that is coal. That's what I thought, cool. And you are a little crazy for my taste. What about you? You look nice, you look like an anteater or something. You, though, I don't want you anywhere around me. Get out of here. Okay, the bow's not super powerful, but it's getting the job done. You, I don't want you anywhere around me. Get out of here. Yeah, ooh, 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 jumping. Perry, huh? what What kind of arrow was that? My arrows aren't working. Mm. Yeah, sword time. Ow. He bit me. <laughs> he bit me. Why is my arrow? Oh, it was working before. Yeah, that's right. I'm not taking no more crap for you flying things. Ooh, meat. Nice. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say, you look nice. <laughs> you don't look mean. Alright, I'm pretty sure we got something here. What is that? Is that iron or is that coal? It's more coal. Perfect. I'll pick that up then. I'll take all of the coal. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, um, is that iron? I don't know if that's iron or not. Nope, that would be copper. All right, it's getting a little dark. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> 
We're just gonna do this and let's see. Let's grab. Let's grab these dirt blocks. We're gonna place those there for now. That way I can just um do something like that. <laughs> and then I don't have to worry about those guys. And I can grab all my copper. A little mining expedition. There we go. Good. Ooh, get out of there. All right. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. All right. Let's put the copper ore in the stone furnace. Smelt. All right. So that's going to make us up some copper bars, which... Not too sure what we can use that for. Curious. Can we smelt? Nope. Can't smelt the raw alien meat. We just gotta cook it on the fire then. Alright, we'll just go ahead and uh, add that to our inventory of what we got so far. And I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably get started working on the base here. Because um, this is gonna be our basement, I think. We'll have a way in and then up, I think, at some point. So I'm probably going to need to do a little bit of clearing right here. Of course, this will all be a different material at some point anyway. But seeing as we're just starting off, a little bit of dirt. I don't think I ever hurt anyone. But we do have some cobblestone. <laughs> and I did notice we had the ability to make some stone bricks, so... Or some cobblestone brick or something. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to... Just mine a good chunk of this stuff out. It shouldn't take too long. This stuff mines relatively quick. Okay, I'm getting the impression this this planet has got a lot of rain. Don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. Actually, the rain doesn't. Rain's not too bad. It's kind of peaceful. Kind of like it. All right, so we got plenty of cobblestone. All right, let's actually um, head over to our crafting table. Cobblestone brick. And right, we'll craft up like 32. That should be good for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I think I am getting hungry. Jeez, guy. That's a lot of meat. Able to fit an entire steak underneath his arm. That's insane. Alright, good. We're full. Alright, where are those? There they are. Cobblestone brick. Kind of want to put this off to the side here and just do this. Alright, so, yeah, there we go. So, shift allows us to place one block. So, this is kind of what I'm looking at doing here. So, we're going to do that. Okay, I can't replace that. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Oop, not the bricks. Careful with the bricks. There we go. Oh, I knocked my torch down, didn't I? Oh, that's fine. We'll just replace it. There we go. That looks good. Now, I think I want to go ahead and put some wood down for support. There we go. Oh. Is there not a way to put that in the background? Ah, there we go. That looks better. Alright, we're going to do that. So, can I pick you up? Put that back. Ooh, maybe it's just the uh, pickaxe. Ah, okay, there we go. So pick it back up with a pickaxe. Alright, so I wanted that in the background like that. That looks pretty good. So I guess a right click does that. Wait, how did I do that? I don't even know how I did that now. Oh, there we go. So I did right click. Alright, that's fine. Ah, so it's the same here. Oh, good. I can just clean all this up. But it looks like it's going to take a while. It's kind of like one block at a time here. Is there a simpler way of doing this? 
Hmm. Oh, okay. So, don't hold shift. Perfect. <laughs> that works too. All right, good. Now, clear all this out. We can actually put ourselves a nice little um backdrop in here. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to just clear these guys. Right here. And we'll finish putting that there. Nice. There we go. So, now we have a little way in here. Let's grab some more stone. Maybe do something like... Something like this, maybe. Alright, yeah, that'll work. And what about crafting us up a door? Um... Wooden door, there we go. So we need more wooden planks, gotcha. Clear that out. Need about 20 of them. Looks like we got two already, so... That should work there. Where's the door at? There we go. Craft. Alright, let's pull this guy out of our inventory. There he is, wooden door. Oh wow, this guy's actually pretty big. Oh, nice. There we go. Hmm. Didn't quite work the way I thought it would. So let's pick this all back up again real quick. Eh, careful. Oops. I wanted that. Alright, and we'll put one there. Put one there. Actually, put that in the background, didn't I? I did not mean to... Ugh! Didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> Dang it. I need to put that on my hotbar. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quick, guys. Um, we're going to call it here for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Starbound with me. Um, just kind of getting ourselves set up here um, with our first little base. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> And uh, later on, we'll start working on our base up here as well. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.